tout le monde, aujourd'hui est le 18 mars et il y a 7h30 dans le matin et aujourd'hui je pense I would take you around à un jour dans ma vie, a day in my life, say Friday and we have a show launching tomorrow with my theater company. It's a completely original one act, it's 15 minutes long and the show is debuting tomorrow. So today and tomorrow we have press going out like every four hours and we are reserving our last tickets and we're just getting everything ready. Oh, also, we are the dernier jour pour le spring semester. So it is the last day before spring break of senior year ever. So that is also exciting. Spring break, do, 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 do. So I just thought I would take you around in my life, show you my classes, show you how I get it done the day before a release. But first today, in terms of school, I have all my classes, obviously. And then I also have a math test. Class starts in four minutes, so I'm gonna work on my Duolingo streak. Today is my 40 day Duolingo anniversary. Alice et Julia. 40 days. And that's 40 real days. I haven't even used like a weekend amulet or a freezy power thing. Okay, it is time for first period. In this class, I would define myself as the resident theater kid. Several times I've been called out as like, Zoe, affirm from a theater perspective that this is correct, da 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 da. I don't know, it's kind of awkward, but here we are. The young man appears through the portiers. She regards him with interest. <sighs> Well, 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 what can I do for you? AP Calc time. I took this class even though I have enough math credits to graduate high school, and I am the designated question asker. I just have no shame. I ask every single question because nobody understands that class. It's time for math. The test. Ah. In third period, I am the at-home representative because I feel so disrespectful for leaving my camera off if I'm asked to turn it on. So it's my job to give the thumbs up and say that everything can be heard at home. Oh my goodness, I also forgot that I have a practice FRQ in Gov today, but unfortunately yesterday I was taking my math test and it took extra time. And so I didn't, I missed all the instructions on a how to do the FRQ. I was gonna research it last night and I had time too and I just completely forgot. So I have no idea what I'm doing going into third period. <sighs> this is so unfortunate. Oh my goodness, girl, I am exhausted. It's in the middle of third period, but I didn't realize that our in-class activity, I did it as homework last night, so I'm chilling. We finished the exam and my math test. I did not finish it, but it closed. Iconic. Our gov teacher did not give us any homework, and now it's snack time, the best part of the day. Here's my snack. This is all that's left. I will, in fact, be showing you a clip from yesterday when I started eating this. It's a Tato bread from 85 Degrees. It's very delicious. I don't usually eat snack outside. I should, but this is really the optimal place to eat snack. I be French, TBH, I just kind of do my own thing. I'm perceived as a good student because I really care about learning the language. I'm also the photographer of French club and event coordinator. So I just kind of say, we're gonna do something cute and then we do it. <laughs> AP psychology, not gonna lie, this class is kind of painful. It's the last period of the day, but I just am one of three people who turns my camera on and I just can't help but smiling and feeling nice. So people think that I know the answers, but I'm really just as lost as everybody else. And the teacher thinks I'm really smart, but I'm just BSing my way through it. Uh, Zoe. Here. Um, I think my family, we're gonna go visit UCSD, the campus, and check it out. Oh, that's, that's a nice campus. Have fun. That'll be fun. Psychology Unit 9 is all about social psychology. Be well, AP Psychology. I can just feel that my brain is so Hello, exhausted. Ah, stop. It's over. Ah, spring break officially. But now it's lunchtime, and then I have a French club meeting at 2 o'clock, and it is 12.32.
Oh my goodness, I forgot that I was gonna tell you about like lunch traditions from high school since this is the very last spring break of high school. So on Fridays, we used to have this thing called long lunch. I forget how it was possible. Oh, it's because we had this other thing called tutorial. So you'd have first period, second period, and then you'd have tutorial, which is 20 minutes long. And as long as your grades are above a C, you get free break. So you get 20 minutes extra of, onto your 15 minute break. So technically our break was longer than our lunch. And they did this because our school is super athletic. And so like the athletes were having this problem where they would leave school early or they'd have to compete um, during lunch and they couldn't eat. And it was just like their eating schedule was all off. So we had to give them this new eating time so that everything could be okay. But on Fridays, the break and lunch would get combined so then we would have a one hour lunch it was called our lunch like in the front of our school all the food trucks would pull up and they'd like be on the curb and you just cross the street and go to the food trucks or people would go and they would leave campus because we have open campus for all grades so freshmen through seniors you you didn't used to need a pass they were starting to limit it more towards the end but on Fridays anybody could go out and so usually because the school was like three-fourths empty there was only like 25% of people who would stay back and that was like mostly freshmen probably but our group we would on special Fridays like today we would have gone to the food truck and gotten tacos or gotten super fries gotten is that even the right word gotten gotten super fries which I don't know if this is like a, a thing but I think they're called carne asada fries but you like get fries and then you put everything that you would put on nachos onto the fries and you would get them in this little styrofoam box and then like the people there, they would stab the fork into the top of the box. So you'd see people like walking around with these little styrofoam things with the fork stabbed in the top and we would get food from the food truck and then we would just hang out and then maybe Mel or Alyssa would have gotten an ice cream. I don't think I ever got an ice cream. Usually I would be like, I'm gonna get chips after if I was still hungry. Um, but yeah, that was kind of our long lunch tradition was going to the food trucks and yeah, instead today I just had ramen, which is not bad, but <sighs> just thinking about the way life could have been. <laughs> no, it's all good. But that was just a story that I wanted to share with you guys. It's French club time. I can't believe it's spring break. I feel so exhausted and brain dead. And I still have homework that has to be finished by tonight. Okay, we are now going to take a look at my application decision for the University of San Diego, California. Pressing review application decision. Congratulations! Woo! Woo! They are pleased to offer admission. Yay! Good morning. It is a rainy day here in Southern California. I didn't sleep great. I kept, I had to wake up early this morning. I had to post something by seven for um, theater club for our show today. Um, and I kept waking up in the middle of the night and I was afraid that I was gonna miss it. But I didn't, and it was okay. But then I thought that I could just go right back to bed after waking up and posting. But then, you know, the blue light keeps you up. So I, I just woke up and I ate breakfast. And now it's nine o'clock. And usually now is when I'd be waking up. On Saturdays, I like to sleep in. But it's all good. So now I'm going to do some practice for my voice lesson, which is at two o'clock today. So here we go. Back. And it's the end of the world
Okay, y'all, we are officially 30 minutes till curtain. This is the moment we've all been waiting for. The show is about to go live. I'm gonna set it up on our TV and get it ready to go. That's our poster, yes! <laughs> it's starting in just 33 minutes. I have to say I'm really grateful that we are done in time. Last year when we had our show, we were having a problem with the file. And so like at the last minute, like the show premiered at seven last year as well. I was still trying to get the file up and then we were having problems with it. And so we delayed by 30 minutes. We didn't curtain until 30 minutes after seven. To have the peace of mind to know that everything should go off at seven without a hitch. And then Reza is very excited to watch. Yes, I love you Jackie. Four, three, two.